welcome 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 so today's first video back is a back to school nail design i took a break from school but i'm back for the fall semester you know i'm trying to get my diploma but let's get into this nail look i saw this cute nail design on instagram that i felt in my soul that i needed to recreate for myself you know being the creative person that i am i thought why not do my own nails especially if it means not having to pay 60 200 dollars or more to get them done every two weeks to a month you know it's honestly not in my budget and if it's not in yours i can help you get started with that in another video of course this inspired nail design was from these two ladies on instagram at maria.bello.13 and at alexi beauty studio i don't know if i'm saying that right but i have it on the screen if you really want to look into that to draw out an outline for the nail design before physically doing it because a lot of thinking gets put into the nail design process and i wanted to get that all out of the way first so i could focus on painting the nails rather than thinking the whole way through so the main three things that I think about when deciding on what I want to do on the nails are number one, the color scheme, number two, the length, and number three, the design and which nail I want them on. I'm not sure if that's considered four, but those are the main things I have in mind when going into the creative thought process. I apologize if you hear any screaming or yells or music outside is very loud and my brother and my godson are playing right now so the color scheme that i went for was blue white and gray based on my school mascot and colors as you can see on the screen green at the moment i wanted to go for the concept of, of, of school period like in the two inspired photos that i showed earlier so you will see how that comes into play play later on right now we're drawing the school mascot it's an owl i go to southern connecticut state university and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to execute it how i did in the drawing on my actual nail but i got faith in myself and hopefully in the next video you'll see that i executed it just as great as i did in the outline so i'm gonna go away for a few i might come in out here now and again to talk about the nails but i don't have much to talk about uh, the drawing is just me winging it there's no real technique behind it and look out for my next two videos the next video is the physical nail design and the video after most likely would be the supply list and tips that you guys would need to do your own nails on a lower budget than getting them done every two weeks to a month. If you made it this far into this video, comment an owl and a blue heart. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be updated when I upload. If you're interested in watching live drawing, painting, or anything crafty, follow my Twitch account. I will be going live starting next week. 
is going to participate in choosing my next nail design, painting, or into any of my future projects. Follow both of my Instagram accounts to join in on the decision making. Now, on to our next nail design. Here, I'm deciding how I want to do the pencil look. Um, I'm struggling a little bit to execute this design, but I find my way through eventually with a Frenchy look for the eraser and a gray line to be in place as the metal part of the pencil. I chose blue as my color because my drawing pencils aren't ever yellow. They're mostly always like green or blue or gray but you know pencils come in many different colors this one just matches better with the set now i'm trying to figure out how to do the um french but while i figure that out i hope you guys are enjoying the background music in between the little breaks if you like to know the producer behind the music all of the links will always be in the description i will always include their socials on the screen and you know if you're interested in making music i'll also include their website i hope you guys are enjoying the time lapse so far comment down below any nail related questions that i can answer in our next nail video and yeah i hope you enjoy it so far i'll come back for the next nail design So this nail look is self-explanatory. It's just a piece of Lucy's paper with an A plus on it. I was just looking for the right hue of blue and then I just put the, the lines on it. I had the red line and put name on the top and put an A plus on it. For the next nail, it was also kind of self-explanatory. It's just I painted the nail white and then I added um, math symbols on it. Um, I googled statistics symbols because I'll be taking the statistics this semester and I wanted it to be a little bit related to the class that I'm taking. But other than that, it was really self-explanatory, the last two nails. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is coming to an end. Hopefully I can do more videos like this if you guys, you know, interact with it. But even if you guys don't, I'm most likely going to still do them because I know it would be helpful to somebody and hopefully it can inspire someone to plan out their nail designs beforehand like this so they don't have to stress while doing their nails on how to do it and take up more of their time when physically doing their nails because I know it takes hours you know thinking about what you got to do and how you should do it but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy and join in in our next part um subscribe hit the bell button and follow my socials to stay updated with me i'm looking to connect with people so let's not be shy together thank you so much for watching